Hello everyone and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. Uh, we have a simple mixed operations problem here that uh, mixes addition, subtraction, and multiplication. And the problem is 7 plus 5 minus 4 plus 8 plus 6 times 0 equals what? So if you'd like to at this point, uh, you can pause the video, work this one out for yourself. You may already have the answer in the first couple seconds. You may have just done this in your head and have the answer, but uh, if, you, if you want, we can you can pause and uh, come right back and work this one out. All right, so first of all, remember that the, um, the order of operations um, is uh, applies here and that multiplication has precedence over addition and subtraction. Uh, multiplication is nothing more than a way of writing shorthand. It's shorthand for repeated addition. So um, with that in mind, the multiplication's first. So six times zero is the same thing as adding six sixes. So it's zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero. And no matter, no matter how many zeros you add, they're always going to equal zero. So six times zero is equal to zero. So that, that's the very first step to this problem, is to resolve that multiplication. Now, if you remember, the order of operations, so not or, that should be of, so the order of operations convention tells us that there is an order to how operations are to be handled. So first of all, we look for parentheses, uh, maybe brackets. Uh, number two, exponents, orders. Uh, you may refer to them as indices. Uh, square roots fall into this category. Um, number three is multiplication and division. Those are just solved left to right. And then the fourth thing is uh, addition and subtraction left to right. So uh, we, we mentioned that multiplication comes first. So the six times zero equals zero. So we're left with seven plus five minus four plus eight plus zero. Uh, then next, you know, we could do the addition. It really doesn't matter what order you do the addition and subtraction in because addition and subtraction have equal precedence. I could just as easily say minus 4 plus 8 is 4, uh, and, and 4 plus 9, you know, I mean 4 plus 5 is 9, 9 plus 7 is 16. Yeah, I, could, I could work this in any order I want, but uh, we're just going to go left to right uh, just because, you know, it's kind of easy to show here. But 7 plus 5 is 12. Then we have 12 minus 4 plus 8 plus 0. Well, 12 minus 4 is 8. 8 plus 8 plus 0 is 16. So the correct answer is 16. Now, one of the common wrong answers to this problem is 0. And people are getting 0 in one of two different ways. Um, one of the common ways is they're just simply adding and subtracting left to right. They're just going 7 plus 5 is 12, 12 minus 4 is 8, uh, 8 plus 8 is 16, uh, what, 16 plus 6 is 22, 20 times ti 22 times 0 is 0, something like that. They're just adding, subtracting left to right, and then finally multiplying by 0, um, which is incorrect. You don't solve left to right and ignore the order of operations. Uh, once again, the multiplication is solved before... Um, resolving the addition and subtraction. Remember, the 6 times 0 is 0. Um, now, another way I've seen people get the wrong answer of 0, and this one's really a little puzzling to me, but what they do is they add the 7 plus 5, uh, then they subtract 4, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But then I'm seeing people subtract the 8, and then uh, and then adding the six times zero, which is zero, they they get the they get the idea that the six times zero is right, uh, and six times zero is zero. They get that right. Um, you know, they add seven and five, they get the twelve. Twelve minus four again is eight. But then they're saying eight minus eight is zero. There's there's a plus sign here. That that minus sign has nothing to do with this eight. Um, what I don't think they understand is that it's not written this way. In order to get that answer of zero uh, and adhere to the order of operations, you'd have to have parentheses around this 4 plus 8 because that way you'd have the minus sign. It would be 
7 plus 5 minus 4 and then minus 8 because this is the same thing as saying negative 1 times 8. So the minus sign then would affect this 8, but only if you have the parentheses. There's a huge difference between what you see here with parentheses around the 4 plus 8 and just strictly doing it this way without the parentheses. One, one, this way you're going to get 0. This way you're going to get 16. So um, I'm hoping that this uh, video has been helpful to you. And uh, if it has been, you know, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing. We've got um, somewhere over 100 videos now. A lot of order of operations. There's a few uh, algebra problems, things like that. Um, some simple math problems. So uh, if you'd like to take a look at that, please do. And uh, like, share, subscribe, and hope to see everybody in the next video.